Welcome everybody, NFT Parent here, back for another video. So we got a little bit of a pop in the uh, crypto market. NFTs went up a little bit because ETH has rose. So a little bit of excitement um, just the last day and a half or so. We've got uh, Ethereum up, you know, 6.4% over the last 24 hours as of, as of when I'm recording this. Uh, Bitcoin's over $34,000 right now. Pretty much it looked like it hit or just went over 35 not too long ago. So definitely have some pumps and some crypto. So let's see if uh, this can keep going and it's not just a fake out. Maybe we can get some some more excitement and some NFTs going along with these uh, crypto prices. But it will, you know, if ETH goes up, it raises, you know, NFTs kind of follow with it a little bit. So let's hope this continues. Uh, we've got one thing that I think is very important. Board Apes creator Yuga Labs and Magic Eden collaborate to fix NFT royalty problems. It says, what's going on? Yeah, royalties is a big deal. This is something I support artists and I believe they should get their fair share. So, I mean, I don't like when they take away earnings and royalties for artists. It, it's not going to, you know, if it's not going to OpenSea, which don't want, I don't want it to go to. I want it to go to the artist. So I don't definitely don't want to take away what they're getting. I mean, most of them just get five to 10%, which isn't a whole lot for what they do. So I think they create the art. They deserve the money. This is a consortium of major Web3 companies have formed a group working to find the best way to standardize creator royalties or non-fungible token NFT marketplaces and ensure they stay there. It says, uh, Magic Eden, Yuga Labs, and Animoca Brands, which are all really big, and the rest of our fantastic membership they're working on. It says, creator royalties and fees added to secondary sales of NFTs, which go to creators, not the platform. That's what's endangered. However, the marketplace has started removing these fees, likely due to the crypto winner. As it proved successful when Blur arrived on the scene, others followed suit. In August, OpenSea said it would retire the operator filter for new collections, which had functioned as an enforcement tool for royalties. Blur today stands as the top NFT marketplace, surpassing OpenSea. Blur's 24-hour volume is 4.5 million and its 30-day volume is 125 million. OpenSea recorded 1.58 million in volume over the last day and 58 million over 30 days. Soon after OpenSea's announcements, Yuga Lab said it would sunset support for the platform and all upgradable contracts and new collections. Creator royalties are not just an, integer, an integral to the fairness principle or respecting the authorship of creators. So, you know, this is the key. We want people to get the money they're owed. They worked hard. They put all the work in. They did everything. They created the art. Let them get what their uh, you know fair share is. So I'm going to keep you updated on this, but I like to see big companies back in this because that helps it move right along. And this article is from October 18th, and I will have a link to it in the description. So as I always talk about NFTs going somewhere, you know, getting more popular, I always like to throw out some news about large companies and NFTs. So we've got Michelin. Michelin is launching a 3X Explorer Club for an exclusive NFT collection. This is the actual Michelin website. Uh, we go here to the website that the NFT collection sends you to, which is good. It's a good website, has facts and questions, leads you right to their Twitter. Michelin Explorer Club, unique uh, Michelin man NFTs, the key to go further in your universe. It says, welcome to Explorer Club, 5,000 unique digital collectibles featuring the iconic Michelin man. Been around for a long time. Immerse yourself in the worlds of mobility, gastronomy, uh, travel and beyond to try to unlock extraordinary experiences that define the Michelin universe. Your digital collectible is your passport to a realm where limitless ex expertise awaits. So a piece of the history, you know, money can't buy real life experiences as raffles to get a chance to win money and can't buy experiences such as races, starred restaurants, you know, motorsports, and then digital experiences. Access a private community of mobility, food and travel enthusiasts, potential NFT drops and digital experiences. So this tells all about it. You know, it says, are you ready to explore the world with us? Sneak peek of benefits you can have in store for Q4. I mean, it shows, you know, dining and, and um, you know, wearables, motorsports, uh, how to be important things to note about raffles benefits. It talks about how to be selected, how it works. And then, of course, at the bottom, they have good facts and questions, just goes over the basics. Because a lot of people see these large companies and wonder, well, I've heard of NFTs, but what are they? And it starts out real basic, and then it goes to why they're launching. So since the beginning of history, Michelin has helped explorers around the world travel and discover new cities or restaurants. This is why they've launched a new NFT collection. So it talks about how to join. Um, tells about, you know, what you need to do to get one. You'll need a MetaMask or Wallet Connect compatible wallet. It says you'll need to have at least 0.05 ETH plus gas. And uh, this is the 
um, site here. So you've got, it says right now there's 2,400 items. So I believe that they are still minting this, but you can see, um, actually, I guess I don't know if they're minting this still or not. Um, on the website, it does say connect wallet at the top. So you'd have to see, I'm not sure if this is still minting or not. I know it said 5,000 total, but they may be releasing them um, in different categories because it said 0 0.05 ETH and I see floor price is 0 0.1. So I'm guessing they've what they've released so far has probably been minted. But so as you can see, it's doubled from the minting price, you know, tells all about it here. 20, uh, this community of 2,400 members, which everyone has their own unique version of Michelin Man. So yeah, right now that must be what they released for 2,400. You see this one still says creator earnings right now. So that's what we want to see 5%, let people get what they create. You know, they make them, let them get them. But you know, none of this is ever financial advice. Take a look into it. I kind of always been in the auto industry and enjoy stuff about automotive, but I love to see new companies come into the space and just promote NFTs and use the technology to grow so it can stick around and let's see if with these prices going up and ETH and Bitcoin and everything can rise all tides and see NFTs go with it. Let me know what you're watching. NFT Parent at all social media. NFTparent.io is my website, but Twitter at NFT Parent is the best place to get me to get back fast. I wanna know what you're watching. Let me know what crypto you're buying. Let me know what NFTs you're buying. I wanna know what you're excited about and I appreciate you watching and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bye.